Hi uh, folks, Starcare here. A quick video just to demonstrate how to record from the mixer into your Mac or your MacBook Pro or your Windows laptop or PC or whatever you're using. So if you say you've got a microphone connected, you've got your guitar and you've got whatever you have connected into the mixer, you want to record that into your CPU, then you're able to do that. I'm just going to demonstrate that in this video. Um, again, bearing in mind though, this is a audio interface itself. So it's got a built-in audio interface. So that pretty much, that's what the USB with the title USB is there for. You've got certain makes where it's not with the USB, meaning you know it has no built-in audio interface. But anything that has a USB at the end of any Xenix line mixer has a built-in audio interface. So that means I could connect it via USB at the back into your laptop or your PC and so forth. Uh, I've got GarageBand here running. I'm going to do a new project on GarageBand. I'm just going to leave it on voice. I'm going to choose that project. Uh, just... Uh, create that there doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna wait for GarageBand to load up let me just uh, make this into a full screen so there we go we've got GarageBand all loaded up we've got vocals there set now in order to we've got the microphone set to let's say zero I've muted it currently at the moment so I'm gonna unmute that so you got the microphone right there connected checking the channels right there it's perfectly there now if you want to record say your mic we want to go right here where you've got your input source whether it's stereo because I've got a mono channel there I'm gonna select the mono right there I'm just gonna leave that off it's up to you could adjust it the way you want so I'm just gonna leave that off and I'm going to put this on a loop so we've got a loop up there so it could continuously just uh, loop that uh, particular channel right there. So we've got that set up on GarageBand. We come back to the mixer. Now we've got your level set. It's on mute. Everything's working there. So now in order to record, it depends on these two here. If you want to record a certain channel input via mono or stereo, in this mixer into your computer this button here where the sources needs to be pressed down if you don't have that pressed down you're not able to record sounds from the mixer into your computer and this one here this one here is sound coming from the computer so we want this to go up now this needs to be up and this needs to be down now if you have it like that it's going to record I'm going to show you an example I'm going to press this down I'm going to press record on GarageBand. So GarageBand's recording. I'm speaking on the microphone. You could tell right now the level is going up. I'm speaking on the microphone. Yet it doesn't seem to be doing any form of recording right there on uh, GarageBand. So I'm just speaking one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, very loud. I'm going to press stop. There's the recording session there. Double click on that one and see what I've got. Right here, as you could see, nothing is recording. So I'm going to try and do it again. Press record. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's just going back and forth. Nothing is really recorded right there, even though I'm speaking through the mic. And that's pressed down. So what I'm going to do now is take that off and leave only that one pressed down. And I'm going to do the same thing again. So we want to run the record right there and you could spot it straight away there. It's recording my voice. So I'm just going to stop it right there. You could see right there it's recording my voice. That's pressed down and that is up. Now I'm going to press play. I'm going to show you something. Press and play. I can't hear. There's no sound coming. There's no sound coming in. If you want sound to be coming in into your mixer, whatever you have it connect, you press this down. So let's press this down. And you could hear me. Let me just crank the volume up a bit. Put the mic on mute. 
you could spot it straight away there. It's recording my voice. So I'm just going to stop it right. Run the record right there. And you could spot it straight away there. It's recording my voice. So I'm just going to stop. There you go. So that's how you record. So this is how you record. You want to record? You press this down, this up, record. You want to hear what you've recorded back? Press this down, you're hearing it back. I'll give you another example of what else you could do. I've got right here on a mono channel, I've got a uh, quarter inch, quarter inch connected into there. I've got two females RCA and I've got male RCA and that is going into my um, iPad. So I'm going to put the iPad on and I'm going to, I've got GarageBand already running there. I'm pressing play so you could tell Garage Ren is playing a track. We're not getting any sound here. So what I'm going to do, I've set the gains up. EQ everything is down. I'm going to bring that up. So I'll slowly bring that level up on there. And that channel, it's currently set on mute. So I'll bring that mute off. There it is. I've set my level there we've got that channel that's that play stop it and that's playing let's just play it there so we've got one channel here set I could mess about with the EQs let me just Put it up and make you listen to how the EQs sound. You want to use the effects. Effects is set. That was the effects. Then you got your pans on both sides. You got your compressors. Now what I want to do is record that. I'm going to still leave it right there on the vocal. I'm going to press record on GarageBand. Garage Brand is recording, you could see right there, nothing is playing because I've got that pressed in. I'm going to unpress that, and you should see right there, when I bring the level up. So there you go, that's been recorded in that channel and I can make whatever adjustment. Now I want to hear that sound back, even if I was to press play, it's pretty much not picking anything up. So I want to hear it, press that down, bring this up. You've got the sound playing. So that's pretty much how you would record a certain input into this mixer, going into your computer and then if you want to hear back what you recorded pressing this down if you want to record from this into your computer you bring this up quite fairly uh, straightforward and simple hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's been helpful if it has then please just give me a thumbs up cheers